come on. Connor can zoom through this. He can do some editing. So Gary V is probably 43 years old. He owns a company called Raider Media. He launched his company some time ago on, on the back of Google AdWords. Same as Jeff Basinger of uh, Amazon, mm. where he could sell a, 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 Gary used to work for his father's um, wine company uh, called Wine Library, and you could buy a keyword for a bottle of wine one cent, nothing. Mm. So he could buy all the keywords and all the adwords for, for nothing at all. Yeah. So he was getting anyone who's searching for Serbian Blanc or whatever it may be, he was going to number one instantly. So he made millions out of that. So he became an expert, and he is an expert on anything to do with digital marketing. That is how Grant Cardone has become such a a money spinning machine through his Cardone Capital because he knows how to work digital marketing, social media to the masses. Because he wants normal people like us to invest five, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 dollars into Grant uh, Cardone Capital to get those returns. So ever since he's really hit the nail on the head with YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and LinkedIn, his business is. Yeah. Now he's buying units for five, six hundred thousand, six hundred million dollars. So you know, I believe in content, and uh, we try and produce as much content as possible. Hi, CJ. How Hi, are you, mate? mate? I'm good. Because you. this is part of a franchise, isn't it? Yes, it is. So in the other showrooms, they yeah. don't have these big. Displays. Well, they do. They do. They do. Right. Yeah, but mine is actually the biggest amongst all of them. It's about three meter long by one meter wide. And, yeah. and um, what is the most sort of popular? Floor you got in the place? Is it, would it be parquet or would it be? Um, no, because I quite like the big plants. These, these, these big things. But trouble <laughs> yeah. is, you're going to need such a huge house. They are the biggest I've seen in the country so far. They are, I think, um, 3.9 meters long and 340 millimeter wide. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen any bigger so far you know, in the country. Have you, have you sold any of these? And yes, we them? do get a lot of inquiries, particularly from commercial uh, properties, yeah. you know, museums and, and bars and restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Like a wine cooler, coffee machine, so when people come in, they can sit. I actually do have that. Let me show you. Come on. That wine. is not a kitchen. <laughs> there you go. The car is officially worthless. 100,000 miles on the clock today. There you go, it's very emotional. You've been good car, but it's time to go. So before we go into it, just tell everyone what you do. Yeah, so I basically renovate houses. Yeah. Um, I've been doing it for about 10 years. Um, and essentially I try and buy one, flip it, sell it within sort of a year. So I've done everything from large extensions and sort of million pound houses down to terraced houses and some flats, just trying to flip it in 30 days. Yeah. All my friends always ask me about how the renovation is and they'd like to see it and they'd like to try it themselves one day. So I just started filming it and it seems like a lot of people yeah. out there are the same. So after you've done your first project and it was all on YouTube and it, then the traction started to build up on, on YouTube and the subscribers uh, got higher and higher, did you think it was ever going to be a success like that? No, not at all. It was just something I was trying. Yeah. I didn't really have any goal. I just thought mm. that people were interested in it. I'll try it for a year. And it's sort of gone from naught to 1,300 subscribers and 100,000 views, which has just really surprised awesome. me. Yeah, it's really cool. It pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like this this, uh, this yeah. colour here, the stain. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, yes. beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. And our sales is really quite split 50-50 between our parquet floors and, and, and the planks. Yeah. Uh, greys are becoming a thing right now. I think 2019 has been the year of greys. Say if you were, uh, you were, you were uh, uh, preferring your apartment and you were yeah. looking for a budget floor, what's yeah. the entry level here? Well, the entry level starts from around 39.99, which is this way. Um, it's a 14 mil floor. 
we're five, I'm um, only three meal away earlier, uh, which is still really, really thick. You know, you can still get a lot from there, yes. uh, and then we go up to about 175. One of the reasons why we can bring a lot of these products to the market at this price is because we design and manufacture our entire range of flooring. Yeah. We do not have any sort of like middlemen. And what, what, what's your favorite? You know, if, you, if you were to do your own property, what is your favorite flooring? I actually currently have this one, the Stockholm Oak. Well, that's your favorite. Currently. It's favorite? not my favorite, no. What's your favorite? It's what, I, it's what I've got at the moment because ah, I'm right. renting. Right, so but if, 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 if you, you know, because I like this, that parquet one there. Yes. What one would your favorite? My favorite is the Como. What's that one? So the Como is right here. The Como is a rustic floor. Yeah. Hand scraped. And one of the benefits to the Como is the fact that this floor is always going to look like this 10, 15, 20 years from now on. So if you've got like a busy family, children, kids, yeah. or pet, this would be my first recommendation. And you know, as I plan to have kids you know, in the near future, this will be something I will install. Nice. Because of the rustic nature, whatever happens to this floor, it's always going to remain like this. Yeah. And that is why it's my favorite floor. So, um, this uh, house sales representative called me up and said, Mr. Jeffries, I've been trying to get hold of you for a long time. We love your business and we really want to collaborate with you. I said, brilliant. Thanks very much. You know, uh, tell me more. Tell me more. She goes, well, um, you know, we don't work with a lot of companies. We only work with a chosen few, and we're, there's a there's a there's a gap in the market for us to partner with you to make sure that your uh, page gets put to the top all the time, and you're going to be getting so many leads. The phone is going to be ringing off the hook, and uh, it's going to be really successful. I said, "Tell me more. Tell me more. I love it." She's selling, selling, selling. She's really, she's a, she's a fantastic salesperson. Every week I have meetings in my office with five or six architects and business people coming in to collaborate with me. I asked them the question, have you been approached by Howes? Every single one of them said, yes. We've been approached by Howes. We've been told that we are the best architects or the best designer build company in our area and we would love to collaborate with you. So obviously, Howes is going forward on a massive sales uh, push, talking to all West London, North London companies, trying to slam them and secure them in uh, contracts for their services. So it was all bullshit. So come on house, pull your socks up, get, let me get out of this contract or prove to me it works because at the moment it's not. And um, uh, your reputation is on the line because I know you have been talking to hundreds, if not thousands of businesses across London, like me, telling them they are the chosen company that you want to work with. It's a lie. If you like this, don't forget to share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'll catch up with everyone, anyone later on. See ya. Bye.